There's new detail today on the treatment for the debilitating disease endometriosis and how diet can play an important role in managing it. So let's see what our resident doctor Tamara has to say. Welcome Dr Hunter. Hi Emmy. Now what causes endometriosis? Well endometriosis is the growth of tissue similar to the lining of the womb but outside the womb, generally in the pelvis, around the uterus and the ovaries, sometimes on the bowel and around the bladder and it's even been found in places like the caesarean scars. Um, we don't know what causes endometriosis. We think it's a failure of the immune system to identify these abnormal cells in a different location. Uh, but it doesn't explain when you find endometriosis in the lung or even in men. So there's still a lot more work going on as to what is endometriosis. So it's obviously something that affects more men than women, but is there a particular age group where you find it affecting more people? So more women are affected than men around about 10% of women in their reproductive years. So that would equal millions of women uh, around the world being affected by endometriosis. Usually presents with pain, painful periods, uh, sometimes infertility with no pain whatsoever. And because of its vague presentation, it's often quite a delay, an, on average about 10 years delay uh, until women are actually diagnosed with endometriosis. Okay, so obviously one of the long-term impacts could be be uh, infertility. Are there any other health impacts that endometriosis can cause? Yeah, certainly chronic pelvic pain is a big issue. As you've identified, fertility, about 30 to 40 percent of women with infertility, oh, sorry, with endometriosis will have some degree of difficulty conceiving a baby. Uh, but it can, there's studies that have actually shown it can affect psychological welfare, ability to work, relationships. I mean, we look at the case of swimmer Emily Seabom recently disclosing how endometriosis affected her swimming career. Uh, so we, we do know that it can have lasting impact. So tell us about the new diet advice that can actually help endo suffer sufferers. Yeah, so there is no natural cure for endometriosis. In fact, we haven't yet found uh, a cure. It's all about managing the symptoms. So there's the suggestion that a diet that is low in those refined carbohydrates, in sugars, preservatives and additives, low in processed meats uh, may help reduce reduce the symptoms associated with endo. We know that, well, there's new research now in animal models suggesting perhaps that omega-3s might help, help to reduce the impact of endometriosis. But really, it's all about early detection, surgical management, suppression with, with hormones, and um, recognising its impact on fertility. We're hearing more and more people publicly speak about it. I guess, how debilitating can this disease be? It can be really debilitating. Some women are, are so affected that they're unable to work, um, often requiring surgery, which in itself can, can be quite impactful. Um, we know that it plays a big role in uh, infertility in women as well. So it, it can play a really big part of a women's reprodu reproductive years. And there's also some new pain relief options. Tell us about those. Yes, there's some new high-dose progestogen medications, oral medications on the market that uh, show promising results with regards to reducing the symptoms associated with endometriosis pain. But in truth, there is no cure at this point in time. It's all about management. So if you are concerned at all, please sit with your, you know, your medical practitioner and, and have a discussion, possibly even a referral to a gynaecologist for ongoing management. Okay, thanks, Tamara. It was great insight there. Have a great weekend. You too.